There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey love, so it's your girl April. So we're gonna start off with this eyebrow tutorial. First thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put some witch hazel on my face. I've already went ahead and washed it and cleansed it, so that's the most important. There will be a makeup look for this entire eyebrow tutorial on another video, so make sure you check it out. So first thing I do is I just spray some of this facial primer. You can use it before and after, and it's called Slay. I'll put the information below. And just to hydrate my face and keep it moist, especially under the eye area, is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I'm actually trying to just lighten my eye area up, and that always seems to help. Even though I have oily skin, I don't rub it on my, the entirety of my face. So being that my Ardell Brow Pomade is a little bit dry, I'm going to use some of this YSL Face Primer. I'm only going to use it on my brows because it helps glide the actual brow pomade down. But even though it's dried a little bit, it still works amazing. It's been like this for a few months. So the color that I use is dark brown. And I use it with a fine um, eyebrow pencil or eyebrow brush, excuse me. It's a duo spoolie, so there is the spoolie on the other side and the angled brow brush on the opposite side. I've had this brush for like months. It's by The Brow Gal and I absolutely love it. Once you find the perfect brow brush or brow making brush or whatever you want to call it, then you really do stick with this. So if this one doesn't last for too long, I don't know what I'm going to do because Ardell does come with brow double spoolie with their brow pomades some of them and they're really not that great they're a little bit thicker at the edges or the brush part so yeah so now I'm going to outline and go over that dark brown with this um, brow pomade you can use it as brow and eyeliner pomade and it's um, it's called music beautiful music or something I'll link it below I got it from Amazon it comes with a black one and a dark brown one and they last like long wearing so if you do your brows today with this darker one then honeys you won't have to do your brows tomorrow but like I do because I'm oily but my daughter doesn't so I outline and I go over the brown Ardell pomade with this right here which is also another pomade the reason I do that is because sometimes I like my eyebrows darker but I don't want them too dark so that is the reason why I go over one. So the Ardell is actually not dark brown, my bad. It's like a medium, um, I think it's either called espresso or medium brown. It's not a dark brown because I didn't want it too dark. But the color that I just put on my brows is more or less kind of like a blackish um, brown color. It's on more on the dark side. So I like to go over the Ardell with it so that way it's not too dark. So just to sculpt the brows out and just make sure that's clean, I did use a uh, Q-tip and I'm just going to do the opposite side. So once again, I'm going to take the Ardell and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like outline a little bit of what I do have here and I lightly go up. Now to be honest, my left brow is always the easiest one to do and it always comes out better than the right. You know, like my left brow is Gucci and my right brow is like um, Dollar Tree. That's serious. And it takes me like sometimes forever to do my right brow. But the left one, perfect. So I just go ahead and make me a brow, kind of like arch it up a little bit. I really don't do half of my brows. Like I do have hairs on my eyebrows still. I let them grow in a certain amount and then I do tweeze some of them off. And that's only if I don't want to go outside with my brows done. Then I have something to wear. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take the darker liner and I'm just going to, or the darker eyebrow liner, and I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm just going to make a thin line and then lightly, gently brush it up into the hairs and lightly in the front. I always want to have the front much lighter than the rest of my brows. And then I just take the excess um, brow pomade that's on left on the brush and I work it into the brow, as you guys seen. And just to clean up, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my brow Q-tips. These are pointy at one end and flat on the other, but you can definitely use whatever you want. So just to clean it up, I will be using some of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I kind of switch it up back and forth, but I do like the Pro Concealer. The color that I'm using is medium beige. And I'm just going to go ahead lightly with the brush and then all over my lid. If I'm not going to go anywhere or I don't want a full face of makeup, then I definitely wouldn't do all these steps. But as I stated, there is a makeup tutorial 
I'm following this brow tutorial so I'll make sure to link that below when I do actually edit the video but this will definitely be up before then so just stay tuned for that it probably will be like next week sometime but just to blend it in I take my Real Techniques orange sponge that I absolutely love and I just blend it in just gently and that's about it so I'll list all of the information below that what I use on my brows I'm just gonna soften up the front just a little bit more and I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is actually the finished look for that day and as you guys see my brows came out perfect to me they look amazing I hope you guys enjoyed it once this finished look is all put together the brows do definitely look a lot neater and cleaner so I love you guys stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and I will see you guys in the soon to come video and I'll make sure I have this makeup tutorial up for you guys really really soon bye